so the wedge here and i think i don't really find it up anyway so you're pushing the cart of batteries down here to go to your boat and boop but you went over this rail i have no recollection the next oh. thing is i let it go yeah no i think i must have gone around this thing and you ended up in the water right here okay Hi guys, this is the Seattle Ring Hunter and today we're out here and not a nice uh, sunny day but it's a typical day I would say for the Pacific Northwest and Bashan Island and we're with Frank here and he was just explaining to us uh, you happened to lose a cell phone down there in the water yesterday, is that correct? Yeah, the adventure, yeah, oh, yeah the big so accident. Yes. He had a little slip and uh, he wound up in the water. He's uh, okay, he's with us today, so that's good. He didn't lose his keys or his phone or anything, but he did lose, or he lost his phone, but not his wallet or his keys or any of the other items he had on him. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna get the gear, and we're gonna get his iPhone back up. And uh, it's only, it was yesterday. Yep. So it may still actually work. So we'll go ahead and see what we can find. We'll get the, get the gear and get together and uh, we'll go down there. No way your phone didn't go that far, but I've got a nice line here. Yeah, would, it's, it's right in, it's right here. I think it would be but now I have a, yep. probably four feet, four, five feet. Absolutely right. It will still be there waiting. Ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Not under the water, but... <laughs> Alright guys, as you saw just down there is where the phone was dropped on this side over here. We pretty much know the area. It's pretty uh, pretty easy to find that area. There's even a piling right next to it. We just put our line down there, our marker line. Uh, we got this area of water right here. The vehicle's over there. So our plan of attack, since we have the dive scooter, we're just going to go ahead and don our gear on. We're going to do a shore entry. And uh, it's gonna be a nice, easy, we're gonna have our dive flag out with our dive um, platform. And we're just gonna scoot along the way down here. The tide is actually on its way back in, so it's gonna continue to slowly get a little bit deeper. This is pretty shallow water for the most part, but you know how that is. It's definitely not a wading situation where you just go out there with your long metal detector and your sand scoop and get this phone. That's obviously not gonna happen today. Um, we come prepared if it was something closer or like that, you know, that we could attack it that way, but I've got all the dive gear. Whenever they talk marinas in the Pacific Northwest, since I have all the gear available, it's coming along. So it should be pretty straightforward. We've got all of our uh, equipment in the car. We're going to go don the dive gear and we're going to go ahead. It looks like a real easy access point over there. I've already looked at it, so it shouldn't be too much difficulty getting it into the water. And then we'll scoot on over to the site. And as you can see, it's a lovely day out here. Very quiet and not much going on. This water is not active. It is an active site because there is a marina and boats. They're definitely not going to be coming right down over here. This isn't a summer day with guys with jet skis and all that stuff going all over the place, but we will be protected with a dive flag and flashing light on it, LED light, just to give a little more visibility as you've seen in the past. So let's go get this stuff. Let's get it going. Let's find this phone.
All right, guys, as you just saw, we got his phone back, and here it is. There you go. We got it back. Any uh, final words from you? Well, master diver here, recoverer of... We're not going to tell the brand. We don't know if it works, so if it doesn't work, I will complain. <laughs> <laughs> I will file a claim. <laughs> there you go. This, water, this phone, as you actually saw, was actually recovered in very shallow water, but as you can see out there, We've got the tide that's eventually going to come back in. There's a lot of silt. It's very difficult. And having all the scuba gear and getting down there with all the silt, it was actually, it took a while because you, it's a basically a zero vis dive. So with the metal detector, I'm able to scan the area to find out exactly where that phone was, was at. He wasn't a hundred percent sure of exactly where he went into the water. We knew the area of where he went into the water and we did locate the phone. So we got it back. Um, he said it was low on charge when he had it yesterday. So he's going to wash it out with clean water when he gets home because it is an iPhone 10. We're going to tell him anyway. No, <laughs> you did it now. You're going to be... <laughs> and so it does have some water protection to it because it's an iPhone 10. So once he rinses it out and then charges it, uh, puts it in a thing of rice and gets it completely dried out and puts a charge on it, it may actually come back to life. It was very shallow depth. It was not very deep and it was only in there since yesterday for the most part. So we've seen them in there longer and deeper and still work. So I think you might be able to get the phone back on. We'll have to see. So anyway, this is the Seattle Ring Hunter. If you lost anything in the Seattle area, give me a call at 206-618-8194. And that's if it's on the road, in the sand, in the grass, or in the water, of course, as you just saw. And if you've lost anything outside the area and uh, need a place to go to, go to the ringfinders.com and reach out to recovery specialists like myself that can come out and help you. Until the next time, guys, stay safe. Thanks. If you've lost your ring or special item of value, please get in touch with me at the SeattleRingHunter.com as soon as possible so I can arrange to do a search for you.